Hello and welcome back to Sunny Talk Spurs and today we're yet again talking about Hyung Min Sun. But before we get into this one, if you are new around here, why don't you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for every time I go live. Now, let's get into the video. So obviously it is the international break this week, so sometimes it might be a bit trickier to find some news lines and topics to talk about Tottenham Hotspur. But there's a sort of a, a, a vision I've had for a video for a little while and I really wanted to have a good chat and conversation about it. And it's our new senior leadership team uh, that consists of obviously Sun, James Madison and Romero. Obviously Sun is now the new club captain and Romero and Madison are the vice captains. And already, so far this season, they've all wore the armband at different stages of games where one's been subbed off and the other's been subbed off. And I just sort of wanted to have a little chat, basically, about how I think it's one of the reasons why the club and the vibe has sort of bounced back as quick as it has. So, first of all, I want to talk about... Obviously, Sun. You know, Sun is now the new club captain, replacing Hugo Lloris, who is still yet to leave the football club, weirdly. But, obviously, Sun has taken on the mantle of the captain. And just to talk about Lloris as captain, first of all, I think he was a good Spurs captain. I think, you know, he served the club well. He was our longest-serving player and all of that. My only issue, and I sort of do agree with what my dad thinks in this regard... I'm not really sure if a goalkeeper is the best captain for a football club. Obviously, I know if you go back down the years, you have the likes of Neuer, Casillas at Real Madrid and Bayern Munich, respectively. But for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, you know, personally, I always think a captain should probably be like a midfielder or a defender or someone who has served the club for a long while, which obviously Lloris does tick that box. But I just don't know if he had the real leadership qualities and vocal ability compared to maybe some of the other options we had at the club at the time. Like I'm thinking of a Tongan, Alderweireld, players like that. So there's that. Obviously he was France captain as well and he lifted the World Cup with them. But I don't know, I always, I always felt a bit unsure with Lloris being our captain. I felt like, you know, there's enough pressure on a, ca on a goalkeeper at a football club anyway. Maybe it's easier to just let them not be it but moving on to Sun now I just think he is the perfect captain for this football club he is the embodiment of Tottenham Hotspur he is so fully Spurs I cannot describe you know he started off this summer by quashing rumours and links to Saudi Arabia he said he had unfinished business in the Premier League and he wanted to stay at the football club so after saying that especially with the Harry Kane saga going on as well. That was the perfect start to his uh, journey as captain. You know, he hadn't been announced yet. And obviously the announcement was quite bold because obviously Lloris was still at the club, um, although he hadn't gone on the pre-season tour. But to actually make Sun then captain afterwards, I thought it just showed real intent from the football club and from Ange Postacoglu. And yeah, I think Sun, you know, this will also do him the world of good. You know, after coming off a season where he struggled under Antonio Conte. I think this will give him the G that the G up that he needs. Uh, and we saw it the weekend against Burnley. You know, he is a a mood player. Like if his son is happy, then you're gonna get the best out of him. And he just some of the things he's already brought him, him and Madison, they text before the Brentford game saying, let's do our team huddle near the away fans. It's just you the, the current state of Tottenham Hotspur going into this season was quite fractious. You know, Daniel Levy had his haters. We had the uh, the Harry Kane saga, a new manager with question marks over it. So he's been very much part of gluing and piecing together the Tottenham Hotspur mess and making it bare again. And the vibe at the club has or is going in the right direction um, with him as the captain of the football club. And then moving on to like Romero and James Madison. I'll start with Romero because, you know, Romero has had his critics. You know, people view him as a good centre-back and a lot of potential. But there has been critics that, you know, his hot-headedness, his rashness. Has he really got that, you know, 
uh, discipline to really play as a centre back in a, a top team partnership. But what the captain's armband will do for him is it will give him that opportunity to really be the leader. And I've seen many people say already when you know because obviously he's one of the younger players still at the football club with him becoming the vice captain now he is going to potentially become a future Tottenham captain as well and I, I just feel like like a club captain that is and I feel like that would be very promising obviously Tottenham do have a lot of connections with Argentine players as well so that helps uh, continue that journey you know we obviously had Ricky Villa and Ozzy Ardiles so I do like the idea of that as well and then there's James Madison and I know a few people including my own dad who thought that maybe James Madison should have been made captain straight away over Sun. But I still think we had to reward Sun's loyalty, and he is one of the senior players still. But I do think James Madison as a vice captain is good. You know, he shows very good personality on and off the pitch. He interviews well. You know, he's got that flair to back up what he has to say. So I still think he is, as well, such a good option in that senior team. And... You know, a lot of the things I've seen between Ange and Son have been fantastic. You know, they back each other. They understand each other's vision. Uh, even like when Ange joined, he was saying how uh, Son was the fawn in his side in the Asia Cup uh, a couple of years ago. So it's good they have that banter to start with as well. But, you know, in a time where Tottenham looked like it was going to be a struggle this season keep mentioning Harry Kane you know Harry Kane would have been the club captain if uh, if he had stayed and obviously with the Lloris situation as well but I believe that Sun being the captain is just going to you know project Tottenham in the right direction and I'd love this season obviously we can't do it in the Carabao Cup now but to see Sun on you know the Wembley gangway lifting the FA Cup that would that would make me so happy because he deserves it. He's always been passionate. He's always you know he has showed his emotion in certain defeats, and he's always he, you know even with his struggles last season and an injury, he has never given up. He has got that tenaciousness. He is to dare is to do, and I just back him for that. But you know, personally, I just think I'm happy for him. I am just so happy for him. He is the right man to have that armband but let me know in the comments down below are you happy with son as captain are you also happy with james madison and christian romero having the vice captaincy as well would you have given it to someone else and what do you make obviously of the Lloris situation and taking it off him so there we have it and as i said at the top of the video if you are new around here Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as I'm closing in on a thousand subs and I'd love you to join me on this Tottenham Hotspur journey. And I've been Sunny Talk Spurs and I'll see you on the next one very soon and a ciao.